Hey, thanks for watching. This is Derek DeVille, top real estate agent here in High Desert of Southern California. What has been going on in the last decade as far as home prices here in the High Desert? Everybody wonders, they kind of have an idea, but I thought that I would take the time to make these slides to show you the actual facts and figures. So check out this first slide that I want to show you. So this first one that I'm showing you, check this out. This is the average price over the last 10 years. The green line is the average asking price. The red line is the actual sales price on average. Check that out. So back in 2009, the medium or average sales price was around $110,000, dollars And look at that steady and very, very consistent climb all the way through 10 years later to 2019. And you can see that it's now hovering around $280,000. I mean, basically just a, a beautiful straight up curve. Now it's different. I've been in the market 15 years. So I was in, in 2005 is when I got in the business. So I saw that go straight up which can result obviously in a straight down, which we all saw. So this, what we're looking at right now, and I'll show it to you again. This is a beautiful, steady, consistent climb. And this, this is a sustainable growth for a long period. Now, the question is, we're over a decade of this continual up, uptrend. How long can it go? Well, let's take a look at this other slide here and we'll discuss that here in a little bit. So this next slide I'm showing you, check this out. This is months of inventory. So what that means is if another house was not listed, how long would it take to burn through the current amount of inventory based off of the homes that are selling? Look at 2009. It was about two and a half months of inventory, which is very low, very healthy. Now this was already after the crash, which was much higher, but take a look at that. In 2010, 2011, you saw the inventory levels climb, but they still only climbed up to five and a half months which is still not bad at all. I would still consider that a healthy or pretty healthy market. After that, you can see it really dropped down in 2012, very low, and then went back up. And in 2014, it went back up to just under four and a half months. And then since then, it's been a pretty consistent downward trend, little ups and downs. Um, you can see that we actually had a bump in 2018. It's something that's interesting to know. If you subscribe to my channel, which you should be if you're not already, you would have known that the real estate market actually started going down in 2018. A lot of people didn't know it, but because I got my pulse on it, I was aware of it and I notified all the people that subscribed to my channel or in my database. Now, what saved us? I believe that it artificially was saved by the interest rates having drastic drops. I believe that the current administration in 2018 believed that the market was gonna go soft and they saved it by lowering the interest rates. Now, how long can they continue to do that? Rates just went down again here in the end of 2019. No sign of them going up as we go into an election year. We are now in 2020. This is January that I'm recording this in 2020. What, I, what do I think is gonna happen in the next 10 years? I have no idea. I can't predict the next 10 years, nobody can. I can tell you this, that as far as spring and summer of 2020, I feel great about it. After the election, stay tuned, I don't know. We are definitely due quote unquote do for correction, but I don't know when that's going to happen. All I can say is I hope that you're subscribed to my channel. I hope that you're on my emailing list so that you can stay up to date. Once again, I predicted the major crash. I emailed out to all my database and my current sellers at the time and said, listen, this thing is about to plummet. I have special statistics that I follow. I'm not saying I can predict every market crash, but I did predict the big one. And I did predict the, uh, I think it was June of 2018 that the market was going soft and it was possibly going to go down. And I believe it would have if they wouldn't have dropped the interest rates. So I've been very accurate and I'm saying this not to impress you. I want to help you. There were a lot of people that suffered horrible loss in the great recession. I don't want to see that happen again. If you own a home and this market's going to go south, I want to let you know that way you can save that equity, save your family. So follow me anywhere that you can. I'm on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram at the Derek DeVille. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm just about everywhere. Google me. I mean, email me, call me Derek at a uh, 760-559-4805. You can always go to DerekDeVille.com, www.DerekDeVille.com and contact me there and just say, Hey Derek, add me to your email list. I'll only email you once a month. I'm not going to spam you. I'm only sending you per pertinent information. I will not send you baking recipes or anything like that. If you want that, nothing against you, but you can pretty much Google that and find it. What you can't find on the internet 
is super accurate statistical data on what's going on in your market by a local professional and that is a service that I provide. So I appreciate you watching this and I hope you have a great day.